Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Last time on Dragon Quest XI, Serena brewed the songbird nectar to help the boy who was cursed and unable to speak. However, upon getting back to Gondolia, Eric and I get ambushed by Jasper and his knights. Eric buys us time to escape, but is captured as a result. The group gets together to find a way to get Eric back, and after sneaking past countless guards patrolling the city, we finally position ourselves to take on Jasper as a team. Now, we fought our hardest against Jasper and defeated him. What happens next? Let's find out. This is Dragon Quest XI. <sighs> Brought to my knees by... You vermin! Ugh, how could this happen? <coughs> <gasps> oh, Eric, are you all right? Here, let me untie you. <laughs> what cavalry is this, Darkspawn? By what trickery did you manage to overcome Sir Jasper? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It matters not. You have had your fun. Now accept your fate and give yourselves up. Are we gonna jump in the water? Yeah. Hmm. All right, this is gonna seem crazy, but just trust me, okay? Geronimo! <laughs> 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 True to form, the rats leap from the sinking ship. So much for your faithful friends, Darkspawn. Now, this ridiculous farce has gone on long enough. All that remains is for you to choose how it ends. Surrender to me, or entrust your fate to the sharks that circle beneath. Well, which will it be? Oh! Sir Jasper, look! Hmm? <sighs> wow, that is a ship. That's his ship? How extra is this guy? <laughs> How's that for a dramatic entrance, huh? Introducing the Salty Stallion, the finest ship to ever sashay across the seas. <sighs> Dave, be a darling and pull over to the quayside so my friends can hop on, will you? Oh my god, the pink mask and everything. Oh right my god. You are, Silver. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> The salty stallion, right? Get them! Oh my god. Ciao for now, Jasper, darling. Bet you didn't see that ending coming. Ooh, I do love a twist. What are your orders, sir? They're getting away. They will not get far. Uh, we're literally on a ship. I think we'll get plenty far, dude. Sorry. Ooh, made it. And by the skin of our teeth. We owe you one, Sylv. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, darling. Dave is the one you need to thank. It's his steady hand on the helm that steered us out of the jaws of danger. <laughs> oh, stop it, Sylv. I'm just doing my job. No need to... Oh, blimey, what the heck's that? Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Uh... Huh? Oh, my goodness. It's disgusting. Uh... <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> I told you you would not get far. Enjoy your journey to the ocean floor. Derek. Now, my dear Tentacular, welcome your new friends to the loving embrace of the deep. Tentacular? Crikey, here he comes. Oh, I'm too young and beautiful to die. Wow. What's that noise? Those are Gondolian merchant ships. What are they? Fire! Aye, aye. The fuck? But why? Now, see, bene, bene. That monster always is harassing the ships in this area. Molto irritante. <laughs> hey, it's me, Placido. Listen, I can speak now. I have back my voice again. Hey, it's me, Mario. The boy, he tell me everything. He tell me it's you who cure him. And also... He convinced me that you are no dark spawn. That is no you who curse him in this way. He explained everything to me. Scusa, amici. I have done to you a great disservice. Hey, potatoes, how are you? Some days ago, I play outside the town and I observe Sir Jasper talking to the monster. He's scary, so I make a little scream. He hear me. And curse my voice so I cannot speak about what I see. It was horrible. Wow, he really did have a pet tentacle monster. So Fucking figures. I learned that the one they call the Dark Spawn save my boy, and the noble knights of Eliodor they consort with the monsters. What does it all mean? I cannot understand. But I know that you are an hero. And an hero must escape to fight another day, see? Darkspawn! Huh? Hear me. Today, you were lucky. But your luck will run out. And when it does, I will be there. If you are wise, you will live in fear of that day. Oh, jeez. Things won't be easy for you now. You defied the Heliodorians, and they don't like that. Don't let them grind you down, you hear? A really pretty ship. We live to see another sunrise. We're blessed. Blessed, I tell you. Oh, Dave, I forgot to ask. Have you heard any little birdies chirping about a merchant buying something called the Rainbow over in Galopolis? Oh, have as it happened, Silver. Word on the grapevine is the fellow what bought it Headed over Zvardrust way. This really isn't just a game to you, huh? <laughs> Friends, shipmates, amigos, Zvardrust and the rainbow await. Onward, forward, northeastward, destiny beckons. <laughs> <laughs> I like this part of the story. 
<clears throat> lots of unexpected twists and turns oh my god oh my god we get like the whole final fantasy style overworld thing yes Yes, I love it. All right, uh, the time has come to find your sea legs, landlubber. You can stop the salty stallion anywhere marked with an anchor icon on your trusty map. And when you want to take the waves again, just go and talk with Dave. If your maiden voyage, why not set north northeastward course for Zwardress? Um. Hmm. Can I like save though? I need to save. I need to save. I wonder if this <laughs> can I come back here? Probably a bad idea. Maybe they're gone already. We we like go off to the distance and we're like really just like around the corner in the cliff. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it let me do that. Alright. Let me go to the, the temple real quick. Whee! Oops. Uh Wait a second. Where the fuck? I thought there were stairs. Over this way? There they are. Yeah, so potatoes, they call me the dark spawn because um I have the symbol on my hand and I'm the luminary, apparently, reincarnated, but every time the luminary shows up, this really super dark evil force appears in the world. So people have, are calling the Luminary the Dark Spawn because it follows me, apparently. So I don't know. That's all we know about it so far. There's probably a lot more to it, but that's uh, that's the gist of what we know so far. So yeah, last time we became Butt Pirates. Uh, but no, really, we kind of did, though. Um, we, we, we got a ship. We got a fucking ship, guys. In a very Final Fantasy-esque thing. And for all I know, fucking Dragon Quest came up with it first. But yeah, no, and we have, like, the traditional, like, world map thing going on, like the old Final Fantasies have. I fucking... I miss that from the new Final Fantasy games. I really do. So I think... I thought that was really cool. I thought that was really cool. Watch your boss back aboard the stallion, then, is it? Yes. Super gay hunk of a man. Dave. Fucking Dave. Um, alright, so where's this other light beam of light coming from? Oh, it's coming from that one. Yeah, so hold up. Ah, this is the map here. So the anchors are where we can actually land. We're supposed to go to Zwardrust. Or Zwards Rust? Zwards Rust. God, that's a fucking mouthful. Which lies far off to the northeast of Gondolia. How far, though? Like, super far? Probably, is it this over here, I wonder? Let's see. This is... No, that's northwest. <laughs> okay, well, there's an island over here. And then there's something else further uh, northeast. Maybe that's going to be it over there. But first... I don't want to see... Oh, shit. Oh my god, there's actual... Okay, so even on the world map, there's random battles. Okay. That's a thing. That's a fucking thing. Um... Let's see. What do you guys think... Here, I'm just gonna have them do their thing for now. Uh, what do you guys think we should do for our stream anniversary? Keep in mind that Thursday, I really don't have any more than the four hours I normally have to stream because of work. I have work obligations, right? Um, and this weekend, I can't stream for long for a long time because I have to go watch Endgame on Saturday. Um, and then Sunday, we might be doing D and D. So, um, I some. <laughs> Fabulous, I'm kind of thinking maybe the following Saturday we could do a 12-hour stream, maybe? Or we can do like a subathon stream where I, like, I stream for four hours, but like for every sub we add an hour or something. Maybe something like that. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, Use your skill points right away. No, we're good. We're Gucci for now. Disembark here. I kind of want to. I just kind of want to see what's here. Yeah, we're going to see what's here. 
Govando is into whips. He is brackish. She's all about Australis. Are we on? Are we? Are we on Australia? Are we? Are we in Australia? Insular Australis. There's also. There's also that door over there. It's one of those special doors that teleported us. I'm gonna. I'm gonna explore a little bit here. We're gonna see what all this is about. Um. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything here yet, because this isn't where I'm supposed to be, but we're going to fucking check this shit out. I think we're going to loot some thingies. Ah, uh, those guys are asleep. Okay, come over here. I probably can't do anything, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a chest there, though. Hmm... Hmm, what's this? Hey, we got some things. Fairy fluff. I think I needed that, actually. I think I needed that for a crafting recipe. Um, hold on. Hold on, I'm just trying to navigate without like, getting caught by folks. Uh, I was kind of thinking that there would be something up here, but maybe not. Let's uh, attack the wear tiger thing here. Plan something for the following Saturday. Get the workout. Dagon marketing. Get the word out. Gotcha. I was about to say, I could work out. <laughs> I could work out on stream. No, I don't. I will, I will not work out on stream. <laughs> Nobody wants to see a sweaty mess of a Dagon Mar, all right? Nobody wants to see that. Although, I think if you do a workout stream, you're allowed to be shirtless. I think. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Um, you wouldn't do an hour per sub. Well, no. Okay, with a cap, with a cap of of twelve hours, and only for new subs. <laughs> if we did it for existing subs, I'd be, I'd be fucking, I'd, I'd be live for a long time. <laughs> Uh, you'll get that random person that pulls a Damien gifts uh, 100 subs. Yeah, probably. That's why there would be a cap on it. I would cap it out at 12 hours. I could dress up and wear some pants. Um, yeah, right. I could. Uh, that is something I definitely could do. Flex Fap stream. <gasps> we could. Well, uh, but it's like a Twitch stream anniversary, so I don't want to really do it off Twitch. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. I don't know. I yeah, no. It has to be something on Twitch. Although I do want to do. I did. I did mention earlier on the stream. Um, I do want to. Do a, a a stream on Plex. So someone gifted me. Somebody gifted me coming out on top, and I want to stream it uncensored. I want to stream it uncensored. So yeah, I think that's the thing that we're gonna do. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the right? Be gone. Who was that, the purge? I know. I know, May. Fucking perverted viewers. I can't, I can't, I can't even with you guys right now. I cannot even with you. Uh, protects May's innocence. There's no innocence left to protect, though. None. None. Oh shit, there's a lot of them there. Damn. Goblin dick attacks? Or grublin, not goblin, grublin. Grublin dick. Don't forget to download the free updates to coming out on top. What updates are that, Hansel? I've never played it, and I've only ever seen pictures of it. Other than that, I don't know anything about the game at all. 
I've noticed something. I really only do blind playthroughs on stream. You know? Like, I could, uh, like, replay a game that I've already played. I guess I do kind of replay games, but it's things like Minecraft and stuff. They're, like, open-ended, so you can... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hold up. Hold up, we're in trouble. Uh, tactics. Follow orders. Uh, there we go. Loses the power of Preparation H. Alright, uh, we need to heal Eric, because he's about to die. He's about to die. I should probably have Serena focus on heals next time, really. Okay, though. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking for Super Serial? There we go. It's better. Oh my god, he summoned another fucking goblin, you fucks. You fucking fucks. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Alright, here. Attack the goblins. You fuckers. Alright. Uh, and we're gonna do... This on the were tiger. Um, let's see, we're gonna whoosh the grublins. Oh, fuck, I should have healed Dagomar. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? I'm about to die. I'm about to die. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? For real? Whoops! <laughs> Whoops! You had new characters and love scenes periodically. Interesting! That's cool. Alright, yeah, I'll check that out. Does the Steam version automatically get those, or do you have to install them outside of Steam? Okay. Fucking Grublins, I swear to god. Uh, we're gonna whoosh... them. There you go. Almost. Almost. Just munching on some fruit. What? Oh, you fucker. Alright. Kill the Grublin. Please. Please with the kills. Please with the kills. There we go. Better. Better. Uh, the uncensored stuff has to be downloaded outside of Steam. Oh, but can be added to the Steam version. Okay. Do you know about the updates, though? Alright. Ah, uh, Rebel Rouser went away. Uh, we're gonna heal Solvandu. Wow, that did fuck all. Oh, that's the temp- that's the regen. Forgot. There. Die? Please? No, he's gonna fucking heal himself. Oh, that's annoying. Alright. Okay. Abilities, hot let- fire! And there he goes. That was tough. Who that was tougher wants? than I expected. Nice. Wow, we got a lot of XP, though. We got a lot of fucking XP. Alright. I am dead, though, so I need to go fucking res. Um, let's go. Let's run for the hills! Run for the fucking hills. Okay, muscle daddy, take me away. Take me away, muscle daddy. And download the bed to... Okay, I got you, May. I got you. Yeah, but I was asking specifically, May, about the updated scenes and stuff. I don't know if they if they have that in the Steam version or not. Like, the new characters and updated scenes and whatnot. You know what I mean? Um, okay, I know that there's a perch here. Let's go back over here and resurrect. Ah, uh, fuck, I'm pain in the ass. 
All right. Look how I'm walking around, but I'm going to have to be the one that gets resurrected, right? Um... Oh, wait, I have one HP. Oh, when the main character dies, he comes back with one HP? What? What? Eh, excuse? Eh, fucking excuse? That's okay. Uh, Alright, in that case, then I'm gonna go rest at the inn and get some of that MP back. And then we're gonna go to where we're supposed to be going to. Carry on from there. Alright, there we go. <sighs> Sorry, chat. I was thirsty. I was so thirsty after sharing a bed with Silvando. Alright, here we go. Let's go to... Zass Rust, or whatever the fuck this place is called. <laughs> Alright. Whee! There was the guy that sold uh, furry costumes. All right, here we go. I'm always thirsty. Saiji! Saiji, apparently with the latest patch, you don't need to uncensor? What? Saiji, they have the nudity on Steam? That's crazy. What? How's it going, Saiji? How are you? How's life? How are things? What was this? The cave here. Interesting. Oh, there's things. There's some things here. I think the Man of War will heal like the heal slimes do. I don't know for sure, but just in case, I'm gonna focus that one down. You're off to bed, some sleep. Yes, okay, Lefe. I hope you start feeling better, Lefe. I really do. Thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit. And, um... Yeah, you you fix that stuff. We don't we don't want you feeling shitty like that, you know? None of that. None of that. I'm gonna bang them, chat. I'm gonna fucking bang them. You know how I am. You know how I do. There we go. Um let's see. Hmm. Let's accelerate all of us. And attack the wizard. Shank the old man, as it were. Um Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lick the wizard. Oh yes. Oh daddy, let's see off that blanket. Um and then we're gonna flame slash the slime. Uh decrease my defense. That's some bullshit. That's some fucking bullshit. Okay, well, how about I buff myself then? <laughs> Cancel that out, motherfucker. Yeah, what now? What now, bitch? Did that for nothing. Did that for fucking nothing. Uh, Drake's on something. Here we go. Ow. Uh, I guess I better heal Silvando. I just a regular heal is fine. I'm here to help. Um. <clears> Whoops. <throat> but only if you already did uncensored before. Oh, I see. So it just won't remove the uncensored files. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's a decent way of handling it, I guess. Steam page does say that you only need to go into your options menu now for the nudity. Oh, nice. That's cool. I think uh, Steam used to have a problem with nudity in their games, but I guess they have since like lightened those rules. I'm pretty sure that like House Party and shit is on Steam. And that that game let you jizz all over people's faces. So it didn't fucking hide anything either. Like, it showed you that shit. <laughs> you know? Um, oh, that's where I'm going. The big fucking marker on the map and everything. Duh. Fucking duh. Is that an umbrella monster? Is that literally an umbrella monster? Okay. Someone called the Umbrella Academy. Uh, Rubble Rouser on the Merman. 
the wonders of modern technology. Sounds like a good game. Yeah, right? Yeah, Brackish. It's gonna be... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of games I want to play on Plex Storm. There is. Uh, let's do a gradual heal on myself here. All right, and let's whoosh the Brawly Minotaur? What the fuck kind of name is that? What the fuck kind of name is that? That is some fuckery. That is some fuckery and some bullshit. It's a parasol? Listen here, you fucking Brit. Listen here, you fucking Brit. <laughs> oh, man. That's what we sometimes call umbrellas? Oh my god. The Britishness is too much. It's too much, Chad. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I love it, though. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna attack the brawlies, as May loves to say, apparently. And uh, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna touch Let's myself, make myself feel good. Oh damn, things are hard. All right, um, attack you, single attack. Oh, rip. Yikes. Fucking intense. That's because his defense is down, that's why. Uh, attack the brawlies. Hey, there we go. And we're gonna heal Eric. Why is she saying aw when she's not the one being healed? That doesn't make any fucking sense, Square Enix. Score one for the good guys. Um, or what queens use? Who doesn't? You got a problem with you got a problem with Brits? No, Michael, I don't have a problem with Brits. Don't worry, my uh, my uh, British Canadian friend, I have no problem with Brits. Just ignore all the clips where I say I'm racist against British people. Okay, <laughs> promise me you'll ignore it. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. We're gonna go. I want. I kind of want to know what that is, but I feel like. It'll just be trouble. I don't know. Maybe curiosity is about to get the better of me and we're going to check it out anyway. We're going to bang these guys. It's going to feel really good, too. Alright. Um, Purple Rouser, Cyclone. Damn. Damn, stop gang- Listen, I know Silvando likes gangbangs, but that is not okay to do that to him, all right? He's not- he's not in the mood right now. That's for later. That's for later. May said menace in chat and the on- Really? What did it- how did it censor it? Did it just not show up or did it change it to something else? Squid kid. And bang. Uh, brawlies. Ha! Get wrecked, you fuck. Get wrecked, you fuck. Fuddle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He's confused. But they're gone, so whatever. Uh, I'm gonna mid-heal Solvando here. Completely confused. Well, at least he's attacking the right people. There, There is that. He's attacking the right people. Alright. Yay! We did the did thing. Did I do all right? Oh, really? The mod who must not be named. I honestly have no idea why Menace. Menace is interchangeable with cunt after all. If you say so, Menace. If you say so. What is this? 
There's a pillar of light on the surface of the ocean, but it doesn't seem to do anything right now. Curious. Very, very curious. All right, so this is actually getting us a little bit closer to Heliodor. Um, we were like super far away initially, but now we're now we're all the way over here. All right, let's do it. Disembark in the Zwards Rust region. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, I'll check it later, Dami. Thank you. Um. Where are we at? Hello! It's a butt pirate! Greetings! You must be tired after your long journey. Fear not, there is an inn but a short distance along the road where you can rest your weary bones. Thank goodness, because I spent a fuck ton of MP. So, since he helped us by giving us that information, we're gonna rob him blind. Oh look, here's his boyfriend! Hi! Zwards Rust. Zards. Zwards Rust. Zwards Rust used to be known as the Kingdom of Flowers. It was such a beautiful place, but then the monsters came and destroyed it all. Yes, there may be nothing left of it now, but a city as grand as Heliodor once stood right here. Wow. They got wrecked. They got wrecked a fucking wreck. I'm gonna steal your gold. Are you okay with that? No? Too bad. Um. Okay, let's go. I, I also don't think that Menace is a cunt. He likes to say he's a cunt. And sometimes he acts like a cunt. But he's actually a sweetheart. Although he'll, he will never admit it. Uh, Zvart's Roost? Maybe. Who knows with this fucking game their accents. <laughs> he sometimes smells like one. Wow. Wow, May. Wow. That's... That's a thing. Alright. What kind of weather are we gonna have? It's gonna start raining here at dawn tomorrow. Alright. Um... Oh yeah, Warriors Rest Inn over there. Okay. There's some ruins and stuff. Dundrasil up there. Okay. What is all this? Oh, it's, uh... It's farmland. Farmland. They're growing stuff. The Scarecrow. Hmm. Uh, I kind of want to see what's in here real quick. Oh, it's locked. It is locked. All right, one more battle. One more. Okay, it's only two. This will only take a moment. Very, very good. So, um, I have a story to tell you guys. Oh, while we're sitting here. Actually, you know what? Tactics. Wait, wisely. There we go. So, um... One of my friends, a streamer Wake friend... Of, I, I did the thing again, guys. I just, I just reached for my headset. <laughs> the headset that I'm not wearing. I'm just like, those are my ears. <laughs> um... I, uh... A streamer friend of mine, actually the guy that got me into streaming at all, he made a post on Twitter today that reminded me of something. Uh, so when Snowlish and I first moved to DC, we had just come from a house. I had a house down in Florida. And Snowlush had grown accustomed to like not being like literally right next to our neighbors kind of thing. And Snowlush had this wind chime, right? And he did not want to get rid of this wind chime. And so we were in an apartment complex and we hung up a wind chime on our balcony, which I know is just like the most obnoxious thing ever when you're in an apartment complex, right? Well, I mean, we made some friends, all right? We made some gay friends. Our, our Big old gay friends lived upstairs from us. I'm gonna keep fighting for a little bit while I'm telling you guys the story because I don't want to trigger some story and have to be interrupted. Um, ooh, this looks complicated. They're cute. Um, we made these friends upstairs, right? And so we're like hanging out with them. Uh, this is my streamer friend, and 
we're just kind of shooting the breeze, talking about like things we like or didn't like about this place we are living in, this the, this apartment community. And May heaven's winds my streamer heaven's... friend Blackston Blackston Nova said, "You know what the thing I hate the worst about about this place is those." Fucking wind chimes. Those fucking neighbors and their fucking wind chimes. I wish they would just fucking take them down. I am so sick. I am so sick of hearing those goddamn wind chimes. As Nolash and I are just sitting there. <laughs> we look at each other. We look at each other and we're just like, and I like in my head, I'm thinking. Should I say it? Like, should I say something or should like I could legit just go back to the apartment very quietly, take them down and never say anything about it again and just let it go. And I thought about doing that. I really did. But then I was like, you know what? I got to own up to this. I was like, so the wind chimes are ours. <laughs> <laughs> and Blackston got like really quiet <laughs> and he just like he just did one of these like <laughs> uh, needless to say I took the wind chimes down <laughs> but no he, he shared that story on, on Twitter I was on Twitter I was like oh hey that's me I am the wind chime guy. Well, technically it was Snow Lush that was the wind chime guy. But, you know, it's a thing. You had to make it even more awkward. I did, Menace. I had to own up to it. I was afraid that, like, I don't know. I just felt like not saying something would be like the, worry, like the coward's Seriously. way out, you know? Uh, Lilibeth, hello. Don't Thank worry. you so much for that follow. Doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? How are you doing tonight? How's life? How are things? Uh, Bushwalker. Hello, Bushwalker. Oh my god, Bushwalker turned me into a fucking wolf. Bushwalker turned me into a fucking wolf. How's it going, Bushwalker? What up? What up, what up? Um, as you love your wind chimes, but you do think wood are less annoying than metal. Plus, who doesn't like wood? I like the wood ones better too, Superstar. I do too. I think Snow Lush likes the metal ones better though. But yeah, we we don't have any wind chimes right now. I, actually, I think we... They might be in storage somewhere, come to think of it. it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we ever threw them away. I think we put them in storage. Uh, <laughs> I'll look them dead in the eye and say, Fine, I'll take them down tonight, right, Michael? I wasn't going to make it that awkward. I, I didn't want... I don't know, like, maybe it would have been better had I not said anything. Maybe it would have been better, but... I don't know. I just, I felt like it would have been dishonest not to say anything, and I hate lying to people, so... When they drive... You know what? They didn't. They didn't. My dogs actually didn't mind them at all. You would think they would. No, they were fine. Hey, Serena leveled up. She's now a level 18 penis face. Yes. All about that shit. Uh, messing with Skyrim at the moment. Nice, Bushwalker. Are you playing it vanilla, or do you have some uh, mods installed? All right, here we go. Let's go into town. I bet there's going to be a cutscene or something. Or not. <gasps> doggy! Oh my god, he's a doggy! It's a doggy! Oh. Oh, yo, doggy. Oh, he's so cute. I love this game's dogs. I love this game's dog. Poor Al Alfie was not a dog. Damn me. <laughs> My bow this is. Many like it there are, but mine, this one is. My best friend my bow is. My life it is. Master it I must. Didn't we talk to this guy before? And you are? Hmm, the master speaks not of one such as you. But perhaps you might like to participate, hmm? Should you wish to take part in the crossbow challenge, the master you must see. In Galopolis City, he waits. Find him, you must. Yeah. We had that same exact conversation with another goblin Yoda looking dude somewhere else. 
Reminds you of Sandy? Yeah, right? It does look a lot like Sandy, doesn't it? Looks a lot like Sandy. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, poor Sandy. Poor Sandy. It's terrible. Alright, um... Oh, we have a side quest nearby. Uh, welcome to the Warrior's Rest, where wanderers from all over Drea stop to share a tale or two while they make... while they take a break from their travels. And it's a well-earned break for most. After all, the kingdom of Zward's Rust is enormous. You're enormous. You're enormous. I see that bulge. Alright, here we go. Did you know, Traveler, that these fields were once part of a great kingdom? Zward's Rust, they called it. In its heyday, its grandeur equaled that of Heliodor or Galopolis. That is, until one night when an enormous swarm of monsters raised the entire nation to the ground. Now all that remain are ruins. Its former glory is but a distant memory. But some remnants yet linger. The souls of those who were slain on that fateful night are still bound to this place by the weight of their grief. Twisted by the fury at the monsters who destroyed their homeland and by their frustration at being unable to protect it, they become monsters themselves, dead knots. When night falls, they rise from their graves and prowl the ruins of Zward's Rust. To atone for their failure and to assuage their wrath, they attack any whom they encounter on sight. Traveler, those fiends were once my kinfolk. I cannot bear to see them suffer so. Would you help end their torment and allow them to rest in peace at last? Fuck, yes I will. Fucking kill some fucking undead over here. Hell yeah. Thank you, my friend. My researchers are in, into the art of exorcism have led me to believe that my former countrymen will only find peace if they are purified by means of the pep power known as care prayer, not to be confused with care bear. Your blonde-haired companion is skilled in the art of curative magic, is she not? Perhaps she might know something of this ability. I would bid you explore the ruins of Zward's Rust at night and meet with the dead knots. Say a care prayer for their eternal souls before defeating them. They will surely find peace at last. Um. Hawksman Village and Skyhunks. Are those actual things, Bushwalker? That's amazing. Shit, guys, maybe I should play Skyrim on Plex Storm. <laughs> oh, man. All right, uh, Zward's Rust was founded by Drustin, the warrior king. It's also where Sir Hendrik was born. It's quite a pedigree, eh? Which makes it even sadder that those monsters came and destroyed it. For fucking shame. I thought since I happened across this place on my travels, I might as well help my fellow guests by selling them a few essentials. Why don't you take a look? Welcome to my roving emporium. How can I help you? I would like to buy a dildo, please. I would like to... I would like a dildo and a cape. I want, I want a dildo and a cape. <laughs> yes, they are. Alright. Um... Although, at the same time, I kind of want to, like, craft all the things I, I need, you know? Hmm. I'm gonna leave it. I'll leave it for now. I will leave it for now. Lots of man-on-man -man things going on. You're just walking through the road and there's just like two guys banging away on the side of the road. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times, good times. I'm going to Octagonia. My daddy's fighting in the tournament and I'm going... whatever. Hmm? Where's Octagonia? Um, I think daddy said it was to the north. Uh, the closest town is many miles away. I suggest you rest at the inn here and say a few prayers before continuing on your journey. All wayward sheep shall find a... Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's save, actually. That's probably a really good idea, right? Let's save. Do the savey thing. It would be worth playing just to test one thing. Alright. What's that, Dammy? What's that? You plan to continue on your adventure on this plane? I do. I do not want to accidentally go back to the title screen. Ooh, it's a book! 
There's a book called Zwar's Rust, A Ruined Realm. Dagomar takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. The Lost Kingdom of Zwar's Rust was ruled by the young King Arnout, a man so brave and noble that his subjects called him the Golden Lion. Jamie Lannister is here? What? King Arnout was beloved by his people, and he loved them fiercely in return. He formed an order of knights, paragons of strength and skill to a man, protect his citizens and his borders. But his glorious reign was cut tragically short. The monsters descended violently and without warning. The knights charged out to meet them with Arnott at their head. Alas, their heroic efforts were in vain and Zwar's rust fell. Some say the monsters had come to fear the nation's growing army, prompting them to attack with ferocious force. But the truth remains a mystery. Now little remains of that once great kingdom save crumbling ruins. At night, the wind blowing through them sounds eerily like the mournful weeping of the slain king, a grim reminder of his tragic fate. Cool. Cool story, brah. Cool story, brah. I suppose you're wondering why we named this place the Warrior's Rest? Sure. Well, it's named in honor of Dresden, the warrior king. He was a great man who fought alongside the Luminary back in the Age of Heroes. He was actually the one who founded the Kingdom of Zwar's Rust, which used to stand just north of here. It's all in ruins now, though. Uh, if there are two dudes banging it out, can you sneak up and pickpocket them? Because I assume there would be no pockets around. 